the thinking is that the Earth formed about 4.6 billion years ago, roughly speaking. And, and then there is a history of the Earth that is not well understood because there's very little evidence from that time between 4.6 billion years and 4.0 billion years when the Acastanice is formed. We don't have any rocks older than the, the Acastanice to study. We're here at uh, the museum, the Prince of Wales Heritage Centre in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, Canada. And what we're going to do is uh, donate and present uh, the Acosta River Nice, the oldest known rock on the planet, at 3,962,000,000 years old, to the museum for future generations to enjoy and to learn from. Size of the claim. It'll be two small ones. Yeah, it should be 103.3. It's on the Acasta River, um, as I said earlier, about 300 kilometers north of Yellowknife, and it's uh, the original discovery site was an island in the in the river. So they were just doing a regional survey, and all of a sudden they started getting rocks that were way older than they they expected. Okay. Um, the rocks in the Yellowknife area are 2.1 billion. So if you're age dating rocks in the Yellowknife area, you'd think, well, we'll get between two and two and a half billion years. Mm -hmm. If all of a sudden you started getting rocks that were three, you'd say three and a half, and say, okay, what the hell's going on? So when they were age dating these rocks, I don't know what they were expecting, maybe three, and all of a sudden they started getting ones that were three and a half. Shit, so then they narrowed in on this one area and started doing much more detailed rocks, and then they found the, the one that came back 3.9. We don't know exactly why it's still preserved, but we, we do know that it's there and that it's old and there's a lot of lack of evidence as to how it managed to stay, stay there all this time. Um, but we, we think that uh, you know, at, at one time early in the Earth's history there were, there were continents, maybe very small ones, that were in existence and uh, those continents, and certainly in the case of Acasta, those, those pieces of early continent are, are probably still preserved in some of the present day continents that we find on the Earth. And at Acasta we can actually demonstrate that by showing that those old rocks still exist there. Camouflage them a little bit, but the snow is a bit deep, four foot maybe. I'll take a wander down there, Jen's gonna take a look up in there, but it goes into a cube. So it should be pretty close to this area here.
then when they came up with the 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 date, you had three different groups involved. You had Sam Bowering, who was an American. You had the GSC, which is Canadian, and it was age dated in Australia. Okay. So you had the three different groups involved, and they decided they'd make a simultaneous press release that they had found the oldest known rock. Okay. Okay. So they picked a date, and I said, okay, we'll announce it. Australia and the U.S. made the announcement. Canada didn't because they hadn't translated it into French yet. <laughs> uh, the other boundary post on uh, the westerly side is the same. It's going to be on ground because, again, it'll be in, in uh, the Acosta River, if not. And what it does, it'll just indicate that the marker is out that way. But there is no land to put it on. So that is uh, a claim stake, the boundary marker. head back over and see if we can't find the other one through the snow. It looked a whole lot different last year in the, in the summertime when it came up there first. The Smithsonian Institute did come and get a chunk of the rock. I'm sure you know that. Yeah. Yeah. And so they saw the value in it as a, uh, a sort of touchstone, uh, a symbol of the age of the continent. It's not what I'd say is the most flashiest of rocks, but I find it very, very inspiring. It's just when you hold that in your hand, it is your problem seeing animal in terms of time. Get into a complex problem, it's old and nice, and it somehow changes the way you think. That's a good sample there. That one on the bag. And yes, it is a product of Canada.